What is going on guys, Ryan Nelson here and today I'm talking about filmmaking tools. No, no, I'm not talking about like lights and clapboards and color checkers and things like that. I'm talking real tools here. Beyond gaff tape and clamps and things like that, we're going way beyond that. We're talking real tools that you should really have or think about adding to your collection at some point. Manly tools. Now these are things that I have found very useful to have around the studio and have come in handy in some way or another and I'll show you kind of examples of what I used all of these tools for. Now let's get into it. Tools. Like I said, manly tools. This is legit called the FUBAR. But anyway, the first thing I think you should have, or at least add to your tool collection, and this is just in general, in life, you should probably add these to your everyday life because they just come in so useful. Screw gun and a drill. Boom, boom. Now I can't tell you how often I use these and I use these both together. Drill a hole, put in a screw, bam, boom, boom. What now, what now, what you gonna do about this now? But anyway, a good battery powered screw gun and drill are gonna do your life wonders, especially around the studio. If you need to move stuff, hang stuff, loosen, tighten things, there you go. Battery powered, good to go. Now, in addition to a nice battery powered drill, you should simmer down. You should add to your collection a nice selection of drill bits. Quality drill bits, don't go to Harbor Freight and get drill bits, they break and it's just more frustrating than it should be. Now, in addition to the drill set, I would highly recommend adding at least one tap, and that would be a quarter 20 tap. Now, if I say a quarter 20 to you and that means nothing, well, it should, because that is the thread size of most standard tripods. You've got the female quarter 20 on the bottom of most cameras. Should be all cameras. It's either a quarter 20 or 3 8 16, and once you're at 3 8 16, you're at bigger cameras but most cameras have a quarter 20. And sometimes you need to make little accessories, little customized accessories to hold certain things on your camera. You're adding a flash tripod and then something else. Sometimes you just need a little bracket. So what I've done here, I should probably add the things to this. Hang on a second. All right, so what I've done here is I've just taken a thin piece of aluminum, drilled a couple of holes, tapped them out to a quarter 20. So I've got my tripod plate here, I've got my aperture light mount here, and then I've got a little tripod screw here. Again, quarter 20. Turn that on. Pop that right onto a Gorilla Pod. Don't have my Gorilla Pod on me. Let's go grab that. Just pop that right onto my Gorilla Pod. Now I've got myself a nice little vlogging rig with a light in case I'm vlogging out on the street at night. Boom, I'm lit up. See, with the light without the light. Maybe I should do that with my light off. Main light, off, ha ha, okay. With the light, without the light, how's that? That's pretty cool. The third tool that I would recommend getting, and this isn't quite a necessity, but it does come in really handy if you're working with little metal strips, aluminum, steel, anything like that, is an angle grinder. <laughs> Now, like I just showed you, this little piece of strip aluminum, this came off about a three foot strip. I didn't want a three foot strip hanging in there, so I just cut this with the angle grinder, cut it to fit, it's no bigger than it needs to be, it's no smaller than it needs to be, it weighs almost nothing, which I'm all about lightweight gear. The lighter, the better. You don't wanna be carrying around so much extra gear that you don't actually need. So a nice angle grinder will allow you to cut metal if you have gear that just has extra superfluous stuff on it, cut it off, you don't need it all. Now a prime example of this, I would made myself this camera slider and I wanted to make it as light as possible so I can take it backpacking with me. Now this whole thing's about four foot long and this tray, the slider, was about twice as big as it is now. So I just took the angle grinder, sliced half of it off, I didn't need it, I made this as light as I could. I could probably still make it lighter, but it's pretty light for what it is and what it can do. Battery here, tripod head, camera here, I'm good to go. This is pretty light, straps to the back of my backpack, pretty good. Once again, I made all this myself. Drilled the holes, capped them out, got everything with quarter 20s, 3816 for the tripod head, got the motor bolted right to this plate, Velcro, Velcro's pretty handy too. Boom, battery sits there, timer, 
Anyway, the slider was made with basically three tools. Drill, tap, and then a grinder to cut this metal. Pretty easy. I'm happy with it. Works great. So in addition to the slider, I mean, there's a lot of screws on this thing that sometimes come loose, sometimes need to be adjusted. A good multi-tool. Always a necessity, you should have it on every shoot, every studio, anywhere you go, take a good multi-tool with you. Now the first multi-tool, it's super handy, is a multi-screwdriver. So I've got Phillips, I've got flatheads, boom. I've got little hex drivers, more hex socket driver. Anyway, that's a pretty handy thing to have around, even around the house. Pick one up, you won't regret it. Next thing is I've got this little wooden camera multi-tool. So it's got a flat head, it's got a Phillips, it's got a couple of hex keys on it, and then a couple of star, forget, I always forget what you call these. Put that down below if you know it, in the description. I always forget, sorry, forget what you call it. Anyway, from wooden camera, pretty light, pretty small, pretty compact, pretty handy. And then just a good old fashioned set of Allen wrenches. Again, these are small, these are handy. I always try to keep these on me when I'm out shooting. Never know when you need them. Now the fifth tool that I think you should have around the shop, around the studio, around the house, it should be some sort of saw. Some sort of saw, table saw, hand saw, circular saw, band saw. Didn't mean to rhyme there, maybe I did a little bit. Anyway, any of these saws are gonna be super helpful in just building sets, making things shorter. Now, I use saws all the time when I'm doing product photography, when I'm staging places. If you're doing a set and you have a row of products and you need to do something behind, uh, little boxes like this, little blocks, cut them to size, make them fit, make them hide, make that product stand out behind the other product. Now this is used a lot in catalog shoots with bedroom sets. You see those pillows, they're always so perfectly stacked. They never look like that. There's boxes under there to tear the pillows and make them look better. That's how that's done. Just a little trick for you. That's how that's done. All right, that's my five tools. But, but wait, there's more, there's more. I said five, I'm gonna throw in six. You get a bonus one for sticking around. Six, get yourself some telescoping saw horses. They are indispensable in all sorts of video sets, photo sets, anything you're doing. Now, I find these to be very useful, especially when doing long studio photo shoots. You're trying to like set these little sets and you've been over, you've been over all day. If you can raise that set up six inches, you can stand up and arrange your set as needed. It's gonna be way more comfortable on your back. Plus, if you're out doing interviews and you're using a table that just doesn't work with the height, stick some sawhorses in there, raise that table up. Again, you could also stick blocks under the sawhorses, which you cut with your saw. Anyway, these are some tools that I find very useful to have around the studio, around the shop, around any set that I'm working on. So let me know what tools you use around your film set, your photo set, that you find indispensable. Put that down in the description. If you like this video, do me a huge favor. Hit that thumbs up button down there. Right next to that, somewhere down there, there's a subscribe button too. If it's red, hit it. If it's not, thank you for being a subscriber. And I will see you guys next time. We'll make this quick, partner. Manly tools. Manly tools. Manly tools. Manly tools. My, my best.